ISIS and other terror groups often grab the headlines with their hideous attacks like the one in France, but experts warn there's an even greater nemesis. Just a year ago, America and five world powers signed an agreement with the Islamic Republic of Iran. Supporters of the deal said it would prevent Iran from getting a nuclear weapon. But critics, as Chris Mitchell reports, say it's still a bad deal. Please have a seat. U.S. President Good Barack afternoon, Obama hailed the deal as a diplomatic breakthrough when it was signed. After two years of negotiations, the United States, together with our international partners, has achieved something that decades of animosity has not. Despite the praise by President Obama and others, one year later, some experts still warn that the flaws within the agreement could mean that instead of preventing the Persian nation from building a nuclear weapon, it could lead to a nuclear Iran with potentially catastrophic results. Their major goal in this negotiation was to get maximum sanctions relief in exchange for absolute minimal nuclear concessions. And that's basically what they got with this deal. Emily Landau, an Israeli nuclear expert, believes Iran won the negotiations. It can walk away from the deal at any time. And the agreement failed to address Iran's ballistic missile program. And their biggest victory is not having their breakout capability destroyed, undermined, dismantled. Not only that, they gained legitimacy for their uranium enrichment. Throughout the negotiations, the Obama administration presented a narrative that said, if you don't support the deal, you're for war. They also presented Iranian President Rouhani as a moderate. Former CIA official Claire Lopez believes the administration wasn't honest with the American public. We're looking at a real um, coordinated effort to deceive the American people about this deal while not even touching on the covert program, which of course is where the weapons development is really going on, literally underground in bunkers and tunnels under mountains. Um, Lopez the cites the now infamous New York Times magazine article. In it, national security official Ben Rhodes said they used the media as an echo chamber to help push its argument to the public in the U.S. While the deal puts restraints on Iran for 10 or 15 years, Landau says they don't mind. Looking at the long term, which is what Iran does, they've kept their breakout capability, even if they have to wait out 10 to 15 years till the sunset clause uh, comes into effect and all these restrictions that we're talking about, whether they uphold them, whether they violate, everything will be lifted and then they will be much better positioned in any case to move uh, towards a nuclear weapons capability a country that can develop intercontinental ballistic missile capabilities that could, you know, maybe within 10 years even, reach the United States, obviously we're talking about a different order of magnitude. No comparison at all. The threat from the Iranian regime is existential, particularly as regards their nuclear weapons capability and the EMP component of that. Chris Mitchell, CBN News, Jerusalem.